a very fanatic greeting to everyone who is watching this video. Try sit with destiny, a secret meeting with destiny. After the midnight, India will rise to life after breaking the shackles of misery and struggle. This is Aisha Limbu from Kripani Degree College, representing State Sikkim and speaking on the topic post-mortem of politics. It is such a vast topic, but one thing that attracted my attention was the loss of essence of politics in India. As we all know that India is a sovereign, republic, secular country with such an active population of youths. Politics is a dirty game, a typical stereotype in our society. 73 years ago, when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru delivered his speech, his charismatic leadership convinced the heart of people and he did the impossible that is bringing democracy and implementing it on an illiterate population. After 73 years, I as a youth stand here listening to people hating the same politics which was never a dirty game before 73 years and also seeing them wasting their right to vote. We all know that nowadays Politics is oftenly mixed with religion and emotion. The first problem in Indian politics is we take decisions in emotions. As we all know that people have a very simple role, that is choosing their leader who can rule them. But the mistake that people do here is they cast their vote out of emotions to such leaders who may not be appropriate to be a leader. Saying this, it doesn't mean that every leader is bad. We take decisions out of emotions, first problem in Indian politics. Even in this advanced 21st century, in the name of God, we do believe the leaders blindly. As we all know that education has curved the new generation in an intellectual and creative manner, but the doors of politics are closed for the young generation. We all know that studying and studying is good, but a practical platform is needed so that we can show our talent, so we can showcase our leadership. The second problem in Indian politics. Each factor should not be a criteria for being a politician. When a country suffers from crimes like rape, abduction, suicide, social media gets hoarded, comments and judgments, but permanent solution is not there. Action speaks louder than words. People should look forward in changing, the, changing their mindsets. Where do we start? How do we do it? What do we do it? We do it by facing these problems instead of running away from those problems. Doing the wrong right, not with violence, but extreme unity. Therefore, I would like to conclude by saying that before independence, we had British to blame for every wrong thing. But after, indep after independence, whom are we supposed to blame for everything that is going on in our society? So, instead of blaming, let's start working and be the change we want to be, have more participation in politics so that the stereotype that politics is a dirty game can be erased from the society. This is a call from a youth to all the youths. Come one, come all. Let us all come together and get back the real essence of politics with a good politician and a great charismatic leader. Thank you.